So something we'll have a little chat about today is visualization and the importance of actually visualizing your goals and why it's so important. So this is something my dad got me into, uh, well, well, well before my time, before I was into all this sort of mindfulness and visualization stuff. So my dad always used to say to me when I was playing football, he used to be a goalkeeper, he used to say, visualize the pitch, visualize the weather conditions. And I didn't have a clue what was going on about it, to be honest with you. But now when we're studying all the successful people and in business and in life, um, they're all saying the same thing. They, they visualize these goals. And I heard something the other day uh, about your goals, visualizing where you want to be and having a proper set structure. Uh, and it was Harvard University students, I think it was in 1950 something. And they all got interviewed, like, do you have a plan? Do you know where you're going? Do you have a solid sort of goal going forward? And only 3% of them said that they did. So they went back a good 20, 30, 40 years later and interviewed all the people again, see where their lives were. And that 3% of people that actually visualized where they were going to go and had actual clear goals set out, they were more successful than all the other people. That 3% had more wealth than the entire rest of the people combined. So if you look at Michael Phelps, so there's a book called The Power of Habits. If you've not read it, absolutely fantastic book. I highly recommend it, The Power of Habits. And it talks about Michael Phelps. So Michael Phelps' his coach always used to say to him about putting a videotape on. And all it was was, every night before I went to bed, he used to visualize watching himself swim. So he'd imagine he was in the crowd watching himself swim. He'd visualize him, himself swimming, taking into account all sorts of things. For example, if the suit ripped, how would it feel? If his goggles filled up with water, how does it feel? There's a funny story about that because when you're actually in the Beijing Olympics, as soon as he hit the water, he knew something was wrong. It's all in the book, by the way, so I find out more information in the book, incredible. So I might be misquoting. And he goes into the water and straight away he knew something was wrong. By the final lap, his goggles had completely filled up with water, so he couldn't see it at all. And all he knew was that on the last lap, he was going to be one stroke short because he'd visualized it so many times, but he was completely blind, so he couldn't see. All he could hear was the crowd going nuts. Anyway, he touches the side, completely blind, couldn't see. Gold, gold, uh, gold medal, Olympic record. And then we got interviewed at the end. Uh, they said, how did, it, uh, how did it feel to swim blind? And he just simply said, it felt how I imagined it would. So for you guys, if you're trying to get yourself in shape, I encourage you to visualize how would it feel to be in shape? Like, how would it feel? How would you look? Like, get some emotion behind it. Try it out. There's loads of visualization techniques. And let me know how you get on.